Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about a super important topic because it's one I get asked about a lot, and that's the upper eyelid area and upper eyelid wrinkles. Something that seems to be very difficult for a lot of folks to solve. But in today's video, we're gonna be talking about that and I'm gonna help you fix it. But first I wanna give a shout out to the over 3,000 subscribers that have joined the channel in just the last three days. Yeah, that's really amazing. I'm really glad you're here. And if you happen to be new watching today and not familiar with who I am, I'm Chris Gibson, a skincare expert. I've been doing this for 36 years, helping people find skincare that will work for them, not empty their wallet and not do them more harm than good. So if those are the type of videos you've been looking for here on YouTube from someone who walks the talk, I hope you'll stick around and subscribe. Preventing and treating upper eyelid wrinkles. Now as a skincare professional, again, of 36 years and someone who's about to be 60 in two months, I know very well personally how difficult this area is to treat. One, because the skin is so super thin and it's also super sensitive and it's also super easy to dry it out. So there are not a lot of skincare products designed for the face that work well in this area. So I'm not gonna waste a lot of time and breath on telling you that we lose collagen as we get older. These particular areas are some of the first to go. That's when we see crow's feet, we have those dynamic wrinkles you know the wrinkles that come and go as we smile laugh and cry through the years they become static and stick around which no one wants so this video while fairly short is going to be straight to the point about what you can do to avoid creating these and what you can do to actually improve them number one on the list is to avoid pulling stretching or tugging at this area of the face. As I said, super thin skin, not a lot of collagen and prone to wrinkling. So if you're someone who uses cosmetics, very important to be careful with those wipes. It's much better to use a product like Micellar Water that can help remove and dissolve any eye makeup that's around the eye area and get it off. You want to be as gentle with the eyes as you can, especially when you're applying or removing makeup. Number two on the list, and you guys are gonna say, this is impossible for me to address, and that is blinking and squinting. Now we all know that blinking is a natural process the body uses to keep things out of our eye and to keep the outer eye lubricated. Very important function, so I'm not gonna be telling you you can't blink. But I will tell you there are some things you can do to help minimize squinting and blinking. One is making sure your eye stays hydrated. If you have dry eye issues like I do, then a hydrating eye drop product is gonna be important for you to keep that eye hydrated throughout the day to keep blinking at a minimum. Also making sure you wear your sunglasses so you're not squinting and that you wear your regular reading glasses or prescription glasses when you need to. We want to avoid squinting and over blinking because those are dynamic wrinkles that are gonna start to stick around. And speaking of wearing sunglasses, the next one is to make sure that we use a proper eye sunscreen product. That means if you're using cosmetics like eyeshadow, try to find them that have an SPF. There are now SPF powders that you can use around the eye that are not cream based, which keeps them from irritating that sensitive eye area. Now I do know that a lot of sunscreens, both mineral and chemical based, can be very irritating to the eyes. They tend to migrate when we put them on the face. And if you've ever had sunscreen in your eye, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So using sunscreen eye products when you're gonna be out in the sun is very important. And I will put some recommendations down below in the video description box along with any products that we talk about in the video today. And then there is this truly effective way to help prevent and even improve fine lines and wrinkles and droopy eyelids and it is a facial yoga exercise one that i've talked about on the channel before and in fact i will link to that yoga facial exercise video down below for you in the video description box as well so you can check it out when we're done here today but it's a very simple exercise routine that helps lift the eyelid skin up where it belongs normally and holding it there also improving the strength of those muscles by placing your fingertips on your brow bone and lifting your brows toward your fingers and holding that for a count of five do that exercise every day or at least three to five times a week and you'll be shocked at how much lift you get around the eye area next i would submit to you that you start to apply a hydrating lifting eye serum or eye type of product. There have been a couple of eye serum standouts here on the channel. Neither one of them are particularly inexpensive, but they work extremely well as I talked about when I reviewed them. First is One Skin's Topical 
eye treatment. Now this is a very peptide rich product. In fact, it's so rich, it takes very little of it. You just put a tiny bit on your finger and you just dab it under and over the eye areas. And what this particular eye serum will do is super hydrate this area all day long. That feels really good, actually. Let's see, did I get it all absorbed? I did. So it has a patented peptide complex. I'll put a link to that product down below as well so you can go and check that one out. And then there is a great serum I've reviewed that is specifically formulated for the upper eye area and that's City Beauty's Lid Lifting Treatment. Again, I have talked about this product on the channel, how it helps to thicken and tighten that skin around the upper eyelid, lifting it. And again, I will put a link to both of those down below in the video description box. Now, here's a special tip. If you are using skincare acids and or retinol or tretinoin on your skin. You want to avoid getting that on the eyelids. As I mentioned earlier, a lot of those type of ingredients can be too strong. They're formulated for facial skin, but we have to really treat the eye area very differently. Those ingredients can really irritate that area of the eye causing t jectasias, that spider veins, can actually increase your dryness and inflammation leading to droopier eyelids and more wrinkle issues. The simple fix to keep those ingredients from migrating onto your eyelid is to apply a very thin layer of petroleum jelly or something like Aquaphor, which I like better because it has extra skin benefiting ingredients in it. You just put a thin layer over each eyelid. That also helps trap moisture from your eye cream product in your eyelid, helping to keep it hydrated all day. And if you don't care how it feels to have petroleum jelly on your eyelid, then you can use something like sweet almond oil or even a little drop of olive oil to help keep that sensitive upper eye area protected from those ingredients. And then there's dealing with excess lymph fluid and puffiness in the eye area, which can lead to that crepey look, especially in the upper eye area. And of course, we all know about eye bags underneath. Simple solution is to use a caffeine-based eye serum that can help remove some of that excess lymph fluid. Caffeine is an astringent. It draws back the fluid and helps to shrink those tiny little capillaries that give the under eye and upper eye area that puffy, darker look. So it can make a really big difference. One more time, all of these will be down below in the video description box. Now, I hope you found this video helpful today. If you did, please let me know in the comments, like it, share it out, and for even more ways to roll back the clock on eye skin aging, be sure and check out this video that's coming up next. Thank you guys for watching and supporting my channel. We're growing like gangbusters and it's all because of you. Stay beautiful, subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you over on that next video.